What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the God Hoods Billionaire. Welcome to Hoods Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we are going to be talking about stop blaming Empire Records for the death of every rapper. Please stop doing that. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so I've been just seeing a lot of shit about Empire Records and all of the artists that signed the Empire Records via a distribution deal. Um, and how they all end up passing away or getting shot or going to jail. And, you know, now all these conspiracy theories about Gazi and insurance policies and all of this weird shit that the Internet detectives always do. So let's break this down. Um, Gazi and Empire Records offers a distribution deal. That's a distribution company. So they only get paid on the distribution side of the music. You see what I'm saying? So in all actuality, they need the artist to be alive so they can keep collecting for the on the distribution end of the deal. You see what I'm saying? So that's just all there is to it. So it wouldn't even make financial sense for Ghazi to have any of these people killed. That's number one. So let's just, just stop saying that. That's just number one. Um, Number two, I don't know if you niggas are kind of like not in tune with what's going on with the rappers that end up getting killed, but these are street niggas. These are street niggas that's involved in street beef and street politics, you feel what I'm saying, before they get onto a major platform, you feel what I'm saying, and they still be on street shit, even after they get on the major platform, you feel what I'm saying, niggas in Dallas know what Mo3 was on, niggas in Chicago know what King Von was on, niggas know what YNW Melly was on, you feel what I'm saying, y'all know what these niggas be on, niggas know what dog, even though, you know, Dolph seemed like a really good guy, but, you know, we don't know what was going on in the streets with Dolph, and we know he had known beefs and had his car shot up hundred times. Nigga made songs about it. So, I mean, these ain't just niggas that's just, like, not doing nothing, and then, oh, they getting killed. It's like, bro, these motherfuckers being real street shit, real street beefs, real street shit be happening to them. They involved in real street shit. So why are y'all shocked when the energy of that come back? You feel what I'm saying? That shit don't got nothing to do with no goddamn Gazi and no Empire Records. You feel what I'm saying? Now, now, is this some, maybe some, some negative energy over there where it keep bringing all that, that negative energy in? I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know what type, I don't know. Shit, they could have started Empire Records with blood money. I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that, but do I think Gazi is consciously out here getting niggas hit to collect insurance money? That's insane. And it's almost like I really didn't even want to make this video speaking on no shit like that because it's so like asinine, but it's like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like this and he has to be said because it's like, it's just so fucking retarded. Why would this man, that just don't make no sense. And then the fashion where these guys is getting killed is like, did 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 what did did Gazi call Lil Tim and say yeah, uh, Quando? I mean, uh, uh, Von finna come up there and shoot his ass. You feel what I'm saying? Like that makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? You telling me he sent the nigga on the highway for Mo three? You feel what I'm saying? When everybody in Dallas know what the type of shit Mo three was on? Like, does that make sense or does it make more sense that he was in some real street shit and some niggas sent to hit after on him? You feel what I'm saying? It just doesn't make sense. What niggas be saying just don't make no sense. Dolph, Dolph got his car shot up a hundred times and made a song about it. His car, his bulletproof truck got shot a hundred times and he made a song about it. Does that sound like God? Was it Gazi did that? What do you, you you see? What I'm saying? No, nigga, Dolph was really in the streets. He was a real street nigga. You feel what I'm saying? That's the type of shit that happens. You feel what I'm saying? So just stop all of that Gazi shit, man. That shit don't make no sense. That Empire Records shit, 
that's like some internet mumbo jumbo, man. That ain't no shit you can pay no attention to, man. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, guys, he really saving niggas. He giving niggas an out to go the independent route. If you got the money, just go get distribution through Gazi. If you feel like you got a big enough machine behind you to, to, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like you have a big enough rap presence, if you feel like you have a big enough, big enough presence, and you got the bag, why not go through Gazi? Why not go through Empire and go the independent route? Don't that just make sense? You feel what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Y'all niggas know. Y'all know how this shit go. This the guy who's being there. Big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. This the guy who's being there. Big favor, big abundance. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Y'all think Gazi out here setting niggas up or y'all think this ain't got nothing to do with Gazi? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. This the guy who's being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.